There are plenty of exciting Xbox One games coming out later this year, but there is only one that you really need to keep your eye on, and that is Sunset Overdrive. It is a very crazy, very mad game from Insomniac, the creators of um, Resistance and Ratchet and & Clank. And um, it's just this wicked fast, wicked awesome third-person action shooter. And uh, I cannot wait for everyone else to get their hands on it, because I love it. I think I was immediately taken uh, by Sunset Overdrive, simply because of its combination of being a little bit of Crackdown, a little bit of Tony Hawk, a little bit of Dead Rising. And they just seem like the best possible games to kind of combine together into the most insane, crazy, open world experience you could possibly have. And you've had the, the chance to play it recently. Yes. So, you know, tell us about what, what was it like? Is, yeah. it, is it everything we hoped? It was everything and more I hoped it could be. You know, my first sort of steps into Sunset City, the sort of sun-soaked uh, metropolis that you get to sort of play around in, was basically like this punk rock jet set radio. So you drop in, you hit a rail, and you're off. You know, you're bouncing, gliding across everything. They've got this really loud, obnoxious punk metal soundtrack blasting through, and the whole thing is constantly escalating as you sort of pick out your big sort of ridiculous weapons and shoot all of these, you know, mutant monsters in the face. And the weapons, as always with Insomniac games, are part of its charm, you know, so you've got a rocket launcher that shoots teddy bears that's strapped with dynamite and every so often one of those will explode with a big dino, you know, teddy bear shaped face and there's that and then you've got like uh, a record player that shoots gold vinyls at everything and every time one hits you get like a scratch of a guitar. It's just this really crazy mesh of ideas but it, it really worked and I think the thing that surprised me the most was how effortless it was to maneuver around the city. Mm. So that's, that was what the, pro the problem could have been was if it was too difficult to maneuver around or too easy, it just wouldn't have been engaging. But it's actually really fun to utilize these different methods of transportation and traversal. Uh, the combat had this really sort of sensible auto lock on system. Mm really easy to switch between weapons and switch between amps and power-ups and different ways of sort of killing enemies on the fly so at no point did i ever feel like i was battling the game to have fun it just seemed to allow me to have fun which is exactly what you want from that sort of experience does it reward you for things like building up combos and building up combos of, of uh, fighting and traversal because it seems like the kind of game that would want to encourage that as much as possible. Yeah, so the more you fight, the more you use the environment, the bigger basic your upgrades get. So it gives you things called amps, which basically amplify your ability to kill everything with as much style as possible. So you really encourage to just play around and get to grips because it never punishes you. If you die, it just quickly throws you back into the world with a really silly animation. So you're never punished for, for making a mistake you're basically just rewarded for trying to do better and better and better and it is a lot of fun so i mean sunset overdrive it's coming out later this year it's got a lot of competition it's coming out same week as assassin's creed so it'd be interesting to see how it does up against that but for my money sunset overdrive is uh looking like it could be a game of the year contender